This is an Auto Trail V Line 610 Sport, and the Sport, I think, is the crucial word because it's a really sporty looking machine, particularly in this color, which is like a really, really deep gray, almost black. It's a very, very smart looking bit of kit, some nice alloy wheels on this one as well. And they've even color coded things like this, which are normally white. So they tone in nicely. And what you've got there is your 240 volt hookup. You've got your inlet for the water tank. That one there is the cassette for the toilet. If you come right on around to the back, there's a TV aerial on top of this one. We've got the tow bar as well. And it's also got the awning, which is the full length all the way down there. Really good size awning, actually. And you can see as well, possibly, there's lighting just along the top of the door. That's rather nice. But yeah, smart bit of kit, that. It's got the built-in LPG tanks. There's a filler for that there. Another water filler there. And if you slide this one open, that will take us on in. This is an interesting one because what this does is it allows you to run a gas barbecue from the inbuilt LPG tanks. Very handy feature. That one there powers the step, like so. And then we can step in like that. I'm going to close that door, I think, because I don't know whether the microphone's picking it up, but there's a, an alarm going off in the background there somewhere, so that'll kill that. 140 horsepower engine, this one. It's based on the Fiat uh, van, and it is 2.2 uh, litre, I think I'm right in saying. Got the steering wheel controls on this one. Six-speed manual gearbox. And the swivelling seats up here at the front. If we head on back round, if we go down this side first of all, we've got the um, smoke detector and the carbon monoxide alarm are here and here. Along here is the controls of the vehicle. So this switches on all of the power inside the vehicle. The light controls are here as well. So the main overrides, you hit those off and everything that's on will go off. That one there is giving you things like the leisure battery voltage, the vehicle battery, water levels for fresh and waste, all that kind of stuff is all monitored from there. These are light switches, so they just flick in the lights on and off like so. Uh, so these are just main isolators on here, so you can hit those and know that everything is off. And then this is for your water heating and your uh, central heating in the vehicle as well. So that's controls for those, and those light up with little touch things. So as you go over them, <laughs> he says that one's not doing it now. It was a minute ago, why is it not doing it now? I don't know. There we go, that's lit up like so, to where you can see it, but it's just got the little LEDs in there. And then the next thing we find here then is the, uh, the kitchen. So what you've got here is an extending section. This comes right out. So you've actually got a decent amount of work surface. Don't always get that with these. So that's a really useful thing. We've got the sink underneath here. There's a three burner gas hob. And then there's the oven underneath. That one there, quite a decent amount of storage. And in fact, there's more storage then if we look down underneath that one. And finally, we've got a microwave in here as well. There's overhead uh, opening hatches, so plenty of light, plenty of ventilation. These have got blinds that come across like so, and fly screens as well, that go that way. And then right at the back is a really nice social area. That's really good. Lots of space for people to sit around. You can put a table in the center here. I'll show you where that hides in just a moment. This, of course, will also convert to a bed. So what you've got here is these fellows that slide out Find the right place. There we go. Like so, a drop out. You've got the infills then that drop in. Huge, big double bed. But with it as seating, that is a really nice, comfortable place to dine or to relax. There's a TV in here as well. That's over here. So you can sit there, put your feet up, watch a bit of time in the evening. Lovely. Storage all the way along here. And let me guess that that is the power for that microwave, it's just a guess. I suspect a fairly accurate one. Reading lights in here as well, which is nice, tucked away into all the corners. Again, these windows all open. Again, these all have blinds obviously come up and you've got, again, bug screens that come down. Like so. All storage all the way around here. Another overhead skylight, so a lot of ventilation into here and um, a lot of light as well. Talking of light, I like the way they put these strip lights in, these LED strip lights all the way around, so you get plenty of light, but it's nice and discreet. And again, with the reading lights tucked away into the corners. 
looks like we've also got USB under there. That's helpful, so you can pop your phone on there, charge it straight off of there. TV we've seen, what we haven't seen then is the toilet, that's up here. So there's a shower in that one, as you can see. And then we've got the loo there, and that chap folds away when you're not using it. So you've got more access to the toilet, drops back down when you need it. And then these are a little bit of storage in behind here as well. So you keep your toothbrushes. There we go. So that's that. The other thing I wanted to show you, well, there's a fridge for a start. You might be wondering where that was. That lives just here right next to the kitchen. But also the table lives up here. That's this fella here. And you can see that's just held in place with these little chaps so that you can just lift that out and drop that into place. That's what that little round fellow there is for. And finally, hanging locker just there. It's compact, but it's got it all. And it's a good compromise, I think, between quite a sporty looking van and quite a decent interior of a motorhome. Done a nice job with that. Brilliant, there we go. I think that pretty much covers that. I'm gonna sit back here. I'm gonna say massive thanks to Dolphin Motorhomes. They've organized this tour. Huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching it. Let me know what you think of that one. And I'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.